Chemistry 3, Instrumental Analysis. Instrumental analysis is used because it's more accurate, it's more precise, it's faster, and you can test smaller amounts of the actual chemical or the substance you do not know about. Um, but it is very expensive. Atomic absorption spectroscopy. This identifies metals mainly and it analyzes the pattern of light absorbed by them because um, you burn a flame and um, light is passed through it and the intensity of the flame is actually recorded to find out how much light is absorbed. Um, and each element has its own pattern so you can, it helps you uh, find out which one it is easier and it's mainly used in the steel industry. The infrared spectrometry. This identifies the frequencies of infrared radiation and it's mainly used to um, find compounds or actually more molecules, for example um, O2 or H2, like even diatomic um, particles. And each compound um, has its own frequency, so that's how you can distinguish which one it is. And the UV spectroscopy um, or spectrometry um, also works like the infrared one. It does the same thing but with ultraviolet light as you can guess from the name. The nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy is a further, it's a very intelligent um, one I would say. Um, it helps us find out um, stuff about organic compounds and it tells us what the hydrogen atoms are connected to, which is very interesting indeed. And it helps us to find the structure of the actual particle itself. Like for example, if you get um, um, methane, it's like CH4 and it actually gives you the structure of it. Gas liquid chromatography. This just separates on the basis of charge and density and it's just the same as the normal liquid um, ink chromatography we all did in key stage 3 but um, with this the gas actually carries um, the compounds through a liquid and with a solid supporter. Mass spectrometry. This helps us find the differences between elements and compounds and it finds it out with the mass of the actual molecule or particle and it's according to a deflection. So for example, if the mass is high then the deflection will be low. It won't be able to deflect as much. But if the mass is low the deflection would be higher. So you could even say that in this case it would be that the mass is um, inversely proportional to the deflection. The infrared spectro uh, spectrometry gives us information also on the particular bond in a particle and the ultraviolet one helps us find the amount of substance in a solution as well and the nuclear one uh, finds the structure of the organic compounds as we said before and the gas one um, like we said before it is just a gas which carries the compounds through a liquid but with a solid supporter.